Hello everyone, I'm Tamara Bennett with Southern Adornments Decor and I, I wanted to come on and paint a pineapple shape with you guys. So, um, so I would love to come on here and paint with you guys a cute little pumpkin shape. Uh, pumpkin. I've lost my mind. Pineapple shape. Um, this is a 10 inch uh, piece and what I would usually use it for is like to set on a bookshelf or as a door hanger attachment or do you know those welcome signs that you put on your front porch that have the word welcome running up and down? You could put this in the place of an O. So there's lots of uses for a small shape like this. Um, if you were putting it on a bookshelf, you could even paint it double sided so that if you got tired of looking at one side, you could flip it over. So I feel kind of funny. Um, we have a spring door hanger challenge starting today. So if you see this gorgeous door hanger behind me and would love to learn to paint it, we um, are starting that challenge today and it's just $10. Uh, Miss Tracy has graciously offered to be an affiliate for um, the challenge. And so the way it works is, is for 10 bucks, you learn how to paint this, this shape right here. We provide you with the printable template you can print it out at home and trace it on your own wood to save a little bit of extra money. Um, and then of course, all the details inside, the lemons, the lettering, everything is on that template as well. So all you would need was a piece of graphite paper to transfer the design to your wood. So how many of you have uh, ever like painted a door hanger? Have any of you guys ever painted a door hanger before? Some of you may not even know what a door hanger is, but if you're following Miss Tracy and you're from the South, it's likely that you probably at least know what they are. A lot of people from up North have no clue what a door hanger is, so I'll explain it in case you are like, what in the world? Um, a door hanger hangs on your door instead of like, say, a wreath, and um, it just provides a little bit of decor to your front door to welcome your guests as they enter your home. And so I teach women every single month how to paint door hangers. That's that's like the, my main job. Isn't that weird that you can have like a job that is that specific? But I used to teach um, in-person paint parties in my hometown. And then I started teaching online. And now teaching online is all I ever do. And so twice a year, we have a spring, a spring and a fall challenge. And so this is what our spring challenge design is. Um, and the ladies inside that group are so sweet and encouraging to one another. They are always cheering each other on. Oh, there's a fleck of paint or something in my pineapple. Um, they're always cheering each other on and lifting one another up and providing uh, positive, constructive criticism. So um, if you need somebody to kind of help you figure out the next step, they can usually chime in and help you figure it out. Okay, this color is called primary yellow so we're just painting the entire thing primary yellow now like i said we painted it white first so that this yellow would really be nice and bright and it would pop um, if i hadn't painted it white first this would the yellow would be a little bit more dull it would take on the background color of the wood walmart so this is the one i'm going to use i'm going to actually take the color that i used before mix just a few drops of white with it in the paint scrape off the excess and then you're just going to dot on your pineapple. Do a little daub and a twist and lift up, just like that. Now, my rule for doing polka dots, this is the way I always do them so that they are like nice and evenly spaced and somewhat like, um, you know, don't look like they're in really random places. I never do a dot over here and then a dot way over here. What I do is a dot here and then I will push down to do a second dot. And then when I put my third dot, I will create a triangle between the three dots. So you could really draw an invisible triangle between those three dots. That's how I do it. And then I take the last two that I did and create another triangle. And so I just keep building triangles off of the last two that I did. So there we go. So that's how you keep your polka dots all nice and evenly spaced by creating invisible like little triangles that you could draw between them. Hello, Beth. Thank you for sharing like a grid, not, not a grid, but like a diagonal pattern on our, um, our pineapple. I'm going to use a piece of chalk just so that, um, pencil lines sometimes can show up through your paint. And so when it, when possible, I always like to use chalk instead and just do a really nice light line with chalk. And then we're going to go the opposite direction and do the same thing. Okay, so we've just created like a grid pattern. 
Um, it did my chalk didn't paint real good right there because that paint apparently was still just a little bit wet. Get your brown paint, and now you're just gonna trace your lines, dragging your brush along the lines that you just created. And we're not gonna try to make them perfect or, um, you know, anything like that because this is a pineapple. We know pineapples are bumpy. It's turning out. Um, you're not giving it enough time. Usually you need to wait until, you know, the very end to decide if you like the way you did it or not because you can't judge it halfway through. Okay, so here's what we've got so far. It's kind of my orange. And then I'm just going to take it and just kind of go along the inside lines of my, um, like, little di di uh, diamonds here. I'm trying to figure out what to call them. I'm like the grid, the diamond these little boxes. I actually think it looks better the more like bumpy, wiggly, and imperfect your paint lines are. So if you're one of these people who's like, my hands shake, this is perfect. Because it's way easy. Isn't that cool looking? So see how bumpy, wiggly, imperfect it is? My hands were kind of quivering because I haven't eaten any breakfast yet this morning. And so along the other line, on the top side and just create a little bit of a highlight and just kind of wiggle your brush as you do it. Isn't that cute? It kind of looks 3D, doesn't it? They're lots of fun. So now I'm going to take my round tip brush with my white paint that I just used and do a slight little highlight inside each of my dots on the top here. And it just kind of gives them a little bit of dimension and makes them look a little bit like, like they're popping off of the pineapple or just write whatever words on it you want. I'm gonna put, hey y'all, because I'm from Kentucky. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my round tip brush and trace right over my lettering to do the words, hey y'all. You could also use a paint pen or a Sharpie for this part. Um, the reason I'm using a paint brush is because my orange paint underneath hasn't quite cured yet, and so if I were to run a paint pen across this, it would kind of make a mess, and we don't, I don't wanna do that on Facebook Live, so I'm just gonna use a paint brush. Get quiet when I do lettering, because I'm concentrating. <laughs> my L and my Y kind of bumped into each other, but that's totally okay. Look how cute this is. Hey, y'all. So um, if you wanna learn more about door hanger painting or you want to participate in our spring challenge, like I said, it's only $10. And I'm hoping that it's gonna get some of you to step outside your comfort zone to try this for the first time. Um, I teach door hanger painting every single month inside my Painters Clubhouse membership group. And it opens next week on uh, Monday, I believe, or Tuesday, the 24th to the 27th. And I think it's gonna be a great way for you to kind of take your mind off of all of this that's going on and to find a creative outlet um, because crafting is cheaper than therapy. Thank you, but um, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little tutorial. You could set this on a cute little bookshelf for your summer decor. You could paint the other side to be something completely different if you like, just like this one that I did yesterday. Um, so there's tons of ways to paint a pineapple. But we teach door hanger painting inside my membership every single month, and we always try to do something new and different. Plus, we teach like techniques for painting that could be applied to any project.